Hi, it's Chester Tupwell at Blue PK and Computer Training. In this video, I'm going to write a little macro that will enable freeze panes. So I'm sure you know freeze panes is where you want your row or column or both to remain on the screen when you scroll up and down or left to right. So I've already opened up the Visual Basic environment. So as a reminder how to do that, click on the Developer tab, click on the Visual Basic button. I've also got a module created for myself. To create a module, select the project you want to create the module in, and then it's Insert Module. Okay, double click on the module, and you'll get your little code window. Apologies for my printer making noises. Anyway, here we go. Sub, I'm gonna start our um, macro with the keyword sub, as we normally do. And we'll call this Use Freeze Panes. We get sub and then sub. So, first of all, what we've got to do normally when you freeze panes, you select a single cell beneath the row you want to freeze and to the right of the columns we want to freeze. Now, we want to freeze this row here and this column here. So, you have to kind of click in the junction of those, the row and the column, which would be that cell there. So, we need to select that cell in the first line of our code. So we can say active sheet dot range uh, b2 and that's my cat by the way if you can hear it dot select so we selected that particular cell uh, b2 and now we've made the selection we need to Activate freeze pane so you can do that with active window, believe it or not. Active window dot freeze panes. Active windows dot freeze panes. Uh, that's just true or false. So we can say true. And that is all you have to do. So let's see if it works. So if I press play, you can see I've got the lines here that kind of indicate freeze panes being activated. If I scroll down, you see the column headings stay on the screen. Scroll to the right, the row headings stay on the screen. Now, if you wanted to turn off freeze panes, you don't even need this line. So if I comment out that line, all you would need is active window dot freeze panes, guess what, false. So let's see if that works. And you can see the lines have gone. If I scroll left to right, it doesn't work more. If I scroll up and down. Okay, so there we are. Hopefully that's been useful. How to uh, reference freeze panes, activate freeze panes uh, within a VBA macro. Thanks very much for listening.